Today I'm going to show you how to wrap a bottle of wine. It may look complicated but after today's lesson it will be simple and easy and it's very effective. So I'll just put that over there out of the way for the time being. So the items we need for this wrapping technique are some cellophane, two sheets of tissue paper, some scissors, a piece of ribbon or a piece of string just for holding everything in place, some ribbon to decorate and maybe a pine cone or something else that you want to decorate it with. So first of all, we need to establish how much cellophane we need. So we need enough cellophane so that when you put your bottle in the middle, it goes roughly about two centimetres or an inch over the top. No more than that, okay? And the same at the back and the front, okay? That measures around, for an ordinary bottle of wine, it's about 70 centimetres if you want an exact measurement. And on top of that, then we place two pieces of tissue paper. Now, we do two pieces of tissue paper because I want to cover as much of the cellophane as I possibly can. So, we do one sheet, and then on top of that, we just place another sheet so that as much of the cellophane is covered as we can. That's so that when we wrap the wine, the person receiving the wine can't see exactly what it is that they're receiving. They'll know it's a bottle of wine, but they won't know exactly what kind. And then we just make sure the bottle is centered. So we place the bottle in the center and measure at both sides and the front and back. So it's slightly out there and back a little bit. So it's exactly centered. I'm just going to move it all towards me so I can reach. And then we make sure that we have just a piece of string or a piece of ribbon to one side. This isn't going to be seen, this is just curling ribbon I'm using, but you can use any ribbon. You could use um, an old shoelace or a hair bubble, anything that you've got lying around, just to hold everything in place. So then we start the wrapping technique. So first of all, I place my thumb of my left hand. It doesn't matter which hand you use because you're going to be using both hands. But I'm using my left hand first, placing my thumb on top of the bottle, a good pressure there so the bottle doesn't move around the table. I'm then going to lift the two pieces of tissue and the silicone and place them in that hand. Just hold the whole thing steadily against the side of the bottle. And then with my free hand, I'm going to then just pleat and tuck it into my receiving hand that's on top of the bottle. So I'm just going to take a piece of silicone and tissue, twist it to form a pleat and place it into that hand. Twist to form a pleat and place it in that hand. Now the tissue on the inside will fall down, but you can just Put that back up again. Tissue and cellophane twist. Tissue and cellophane twist. All the way till you get about halfway around the bottle. And then stop. Then take your free hand and place it around the neck of the bottle. So my lid is here. I'm working around the neck of the bottle and I've got all the weight in that hand. And then continue with the same thing with the other hand. So twist and pull. Twist and pull. Again, if the tissue falls down on the inside, just hold it back up again and continue. So twist and pleat. I've got all the weight in that hand, so the bottle's not going anywhere. Twist and pleat all the way around. It doesn't matter if you think, oh, I'm making a mess of this. I just do a few extra pleats in that hand. Because it's all going to be jagged at the top, like this one, here, it's all going to be jagged at the top. It doesn't matter when you're pleating it if your pleats aren't even. In fact, that probably adds to the, the overall look if they're actually a little bit scruffy. So eventually we get everything into that one hand. I'll just move that out of the way again. Everything into that one hand, and then we're ready to just tie our piece of ribbon or string, whatever we're using, around the neck of the bottle. So to get it around the neck of the bottle, I'm just going to tie this and then I will show you exactly what I mean. So nice and tight. Cut off any excess that we don't want. Put that to one side. So if I just pull everything down, you can see then the lid of my bottle is here and I'm working around the neck of the bottle. Okay. So then we need to start tidying things up. So if you've got some cellophane that's all twisted, then untwist it. So use your fingertips on the tissue paper just to uncrease it. Okay, don't yank the tissue paper because that will then end up in your hand and off on the, on the wrapping. But the cellophane is quite strong, so you can give that a good pull and make sure it's all nicely tightened up. When you're happy with the shape then, you can then start decorating it. So 
So I'm just going to tie a simple red ribbon around here in a bow. So take a nice piece of ribbon and I'm going to put a little pine cone in as well. So I'm going to tie the ribbon around the neck of the bottle. I'm then going to thread on the pine cone and just tie another little knot to make sure that's all nicely secure and then a bow. Okay, now working upside down isn't very easy, but hopefully we'll get this mastered. So I can just have a little look at that. It's a little bit wonky, I better do it the other way around. So I'll just do it this way, just to make it nice and neat. Not too big. There we go, and then you can either have these as little diagonals like this, or if you want to be a little fancier, you could just do a little tail that way. Okay, and there we are, one nicely wrapped bottle. I hope you enjoyed that.